now for another 60 second history report. When you think of cities in America where the fight for freedom began, does Montgomery, Alabama make your list? It should. That's because it was there that a woman took a stand by staying seated. After the Civil War, many southern states had Jim Crow laws. These were rules about racial segregation for restaurants, restrooms, even buses. One December day in 1955, an African-American woman named Rosa Parks was told by a bus driver to move so a white man could have her seat. When she refused, he called the police. Soon after, churches from all over the area told their congregations not to ride the bus anymore as a form of protest. This growing bus boycott needed a leader, so a young preacher named Martin Luther King was elected to head up the cause. King argued that segregation on buses was wrong, but urged everyone to keep their protests peaceful, a philosophy he learned from his hero Mahatma Gandhi. For 382 days, the African-American citizens of Montgomery stayed off the buses until the Supreme Court declared that Mrs. Parks and Dr. King were right. This event helped pave the way for the other peaceful protests, the elimination of Jim Crow laws, and introduced the nation to Martin Luther King, one of history's greatest champions for civil rights. So here it is in a nutshell. Rosa Parks kept her seat, a young preacher shared the heat. Folks went walking, the court was talking, and Jim Crow was finally beat. That's Rosa Parks in 60 seconds.